I am shocked that they gave me such little uh, for this car. But let me just uh, show you the report here. <clears throat> All right. So, how's it going, guys? In this video, we're going to take the Mach E to CarMax to see how much they're going to give us for it because we have had this car for almost a year and a half now, put 35,000 miles on it. So, I kind of just want to see how it's uh, depreciated um, in the last year and a half and with the amount of abuse that we've put on it. Um, I just moved into the new house. We now have a garage. I'll put up a, a little video here of what we had working before, uh, which was just a carport. So this is much, much better. Um, I haven't even hooked up the uh, 240 volt outlet. All we have is a, is a standard uh, uh, 120 volt <clears throat> and uh, we're slow charging here turtle charging um but anyways i don't know if i even want to install a 240 volt outlet because maybe we won't keep the mach-e maybe we'll just sell it and uh get something that doesn't require me to spend a thousand dollars on electrical connections um so here we go let's get over to uh carmax and see how much they're gonna give us for this bad boy <clears throat> Oh, I should probably unplug her. Don't want to run away with the cord, that's for sure. Before we head over, I do want to say I tried plugging in the VIN number in uh, CarMax.com because usually it'll just spit out the number for you. And then I don't have to make the travesty all the way out to CarMax. But I'm going to do it for you guys just so you guys can see how much this car is really worth. But also for me because if they give me a good price, who knows? We might walk away with another car or actually carless. I might have to Uber home if they give me a good enough deal on this car and I uh, sell it to them. Uh, so anyways, I do have to take it in because I put in the numbers, um, the VIN number on CarMax.com. And it said, hey, we don't have enough uh, data or whatever the algorithm does um, to shoot out a price. Um, it's probably from like dealer auction websites that they pull data from. Um, but there's not enough of these cars because this car was first introduced in 2021. Um, so it's only been around for two years. Uh, and uh, I have to bring it in so they can inspect it and make sure it is what I say it is. And then uh, they'll give me a price on it. So let's head over there now. One thing I am going to miss about this car if we do end up selling it is the uh, uh, Blue Cruise, the uh, hands-free driving. Um, it's awesome. It helps with uh, like driver fatigue, especially for longer trips. Um, I love it. I use it all the time, literally anytime I'm on the highway. Um, so I am going to miss that feature. And hopefully the next car that comes to the garage also has Blue Cruise or something similar because it is an amazing feature, especially if you do like longer commutes or any highway driving whatsoever um, but we'll be there in just a sec all right guys we are here at carmax now i am gonna be pessimistic um and say I'm, I'm gonna undershoot what i think they're gonna give me for this car just because i want to be surprised and i want them to give me something good for my car so i'm gonna say uh mind you this is a 2021 uh mach e premium um you know standard range with 34,000 miles i am gonna say $35,000 is what they're you know what they're gonna offer me let me know in the comments below what you think um i'm gonna get for the car um and we'll see in just a second after they do the evaluation and see how much they actually give me but i'm gonna say just to be pessimistic and hopefully be surprised um, I'm going to say they're going to give me $35,000. Let's go in and see. All right, guys. So I am back in the garage. I think I just needed a minute to kind of internalize that offer. Um, I have the paper here in my hand, but I just kind of wanted to go over it because I'm a little bit shocked. Like, I am very surprised by this offer. I did not at all expect this. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I could have probably cleaned it up a little bit better. It is a little bit dirty. Um, it's got some dust back here and stuff. You know, it's, it's. I mean, it's it's pretty filthy. I could have cleaned it. Um, but, 
you know, it's it's a really nice car. And if this car was on a lot at a dealership and I happen to walk by and see it for the price that they are offering me, I would jump on it in like two seconds. Like it is ridiculous. But anyways, I am shocked that they gave me such little uh, for this car. But let me just uh, show you the report here. <clears throat> All right. So this is the uh, CarMax appraisal offer and uh, 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E, $31,500, $31,500. If you saw this car in a dealership lot for $31,000, would you not jump on it in two seconds? Like, look how beautiful this car is. And new, I think I paid $53,000, $54,000. Uh, for this car, so I don't know. Maybe we will end up getting that uh, 240 volt outlet after all, and just keeping the car. Cause, oh my goodness, like that is that is just insane. I did not expect them to go that low. Um, I actually did uh, one of those online appraisal things through like uh, Tesla, and what was funny about that is Tesla was giving me more than Carmax is, and Carmax is usually the best one out of everybody, but Tesla was giving me like. It was like 30, it had a range. It said like 36 to 39, but bring in the car and, you know, we'll assess it at that point. Um, but yeah, 36 to 39 and CarMax, which, you know, supposedly is the one that gives you the most money for your car, 31,500. I am very surprised. Um, but there you guys have it. What do you think? Should I uh, sell it? Should I keep it? Um, you know, with the, uh, my, my payments, I mean, I, I'm pretty transparent. I don't really care. My pay, my payments are $1,000 a month. So, I mean, I can have a lot of equity in this car just by making the monthly payments just because the monthly payments are so high. Um, also, my interest rate is 0.9% through Ford. Um, so, I don't know. If I go into something else, I, number one, the interest rate is not going to be as good. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of uh, CarMax's offer? Because I think that's ridiculous. Like I was like, okay, thank you, and I just I just left. I was like a little bit shocked, but um, but there you guys have it. Uh, that is what CarMax is willing to pay for a 2021 uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E uh, with 34,000 miles.